Hello all welcome back to our channel so students in this video we will discuss cash flow statement or is cash flow analysis so in this video in depth we will discuss about this unit by watching this video you can easily understand and you can do any type of problematic question from cash flow statement as many of you are requested and some of the students are getting difficulties to understand this cash flow statement today in this video i will discuss this uh, problematic questions in simple and easy way so that you can easily attempt it okay first we will you need to discuss about the pro forma ma so this is your pro forma what you will have particulars amount first heading you will have cash flow from operating activities okay cash flow from operating activities this you need to do the thing ma you need to write that side headings in cash flow from operating activities what you will get net profit you will get from cash flow op ca net cash flow from operating activities so first me came into the net profit before tax they will give in the question that you need to write it in the outer column next uh, add items to be added you need to add non cash or non operating items for example in the question if they are mentioning depreciation you need to add okay if you are mentioning any loss on sale of assets you need to add loss on sale of investments you need to add interest on loans and borrowings you need to add okay provision for doubtful debts add and preliminary expenses you need to add provision for discount and debt as add like that you need to add all these items that is called after doing the operating activities after writing net profit you need to add this type of items if they have mentioned in the question if not no need next what are the items you need to deduct for example interest received dividends received rental house income means whatever the profits we are getting we need to deduct that whatever the loss we are getting we need to add it that okay students next you are having profit and gain of profit or gain of fixed assets if you are getting profit means you need to deduct it if you are getting profit on fixed assets means you need to minus oh sorry you need to minus it okay appreciation of fixed assets you need to minus okay then you will get operating profit before working capital changes okay this you will get from this mere em cheyali enante when current <coughs> when current asset is decreasing means you need to add it okay when current asset is decreasing you need to add when current liability is increasing you need to add it okay so just i will tell that trick what is that trick means see here for example in current asset is decreasing means if current asset is decreasing means you need to add it if current asset is increasing means you need to minus if current liabilities is decreasing means minus current liabilities increasing means plus like alternatively you need to do it okay write this thing then only will understand okay so here what we have done decrease in current assets you are adding increase in current liabilities you are adding decrease in current assets increase in liabilities increase in current assets decrease in current liabilities we are doing reductions ante we are getting increase or decrease we need to clarity we need to take clarity okay next you will get a, uh, direct cash flow from operating activities you will get okay cash flow from operating activities you will get from that you need to do second side heading that is cash flow from investing activities in investing activities what you will have any type of cash flow from investing activities what are the things we need to write it means any items if we are receiving for example interest received dividend received rent received like this type of things you need to add it if in case of any fixed assets purchases you need to deduct it any purchase of fixed assets we are doing means we need to minus that if we are doing sales means we need to add it okay so that is will come in investing activities to do investing activities we need to do investing activities based on the fixed assets okay so fixed assets if you have taking a look means you will easily get understandable okay next you are having cash flow from investing activities got it cash flow from investing activities here here what we will do issue of shares and debentures okay long term borrowings loans this type of things we need to add 
if suppose in case of any repayment of loan repayment of dividend repayment of debentures in that cases we need to minus bracket in the sense minus amount you need to do minus okay then you will get net flow net cash flow from investing activities okay if you add net to flow net, net cash flow from operating activities investing activities financing activities if you are getting the positive number means that is called net increase if you are net getting negative number means you, it is called net decrease from that opening cash you need to add okay ochina amount ki opening cash add cheste closing cash anedi meeku answer ane roopam lo ostundi okay na so ala ochina appudu meer chesina answer correct ana ardhamu okay na so now let's get into the problematic question so that you will easily attempt it okay so see here students question number 13 here first we need to do the net profit net profit is nothing but pnl account how much they have given level 1000 this year 14000 what is the increase net profit is 3000 okay last year level 1000 only this year 14000 how much it is increasing 3000 that is called net profit only no next in that operating uh, before capital see we are not having any depreciation we are not having any loss no so direct we are going now you see current assets is increasing or decreasing debtors debtors is compared to last year that is decreasing when current asset is decreasing we need to add it okay so decrease in debtors how much we are decreasing 2000 that's why we are adding increase in current uh, creditors we are adding if stock is decreasing if current asset is decreasing means we need to if current asset is increasing means we need to minus that okay so that's why we are doing minus okay from 4000 this also 4000 4000 minus 4000 you will get zero and you are having only 3000 so net cash flow from operating activities is 3000 to do investing activities we will have fixed assets no ma so fixed assets is nothing but plant last year you are having 46 this year 45 which it meant sale no sale yes no nartham if sale means how much sale you are having 1000 got it 1000 you are doing sales so if you are having sales means you need to add that amount so that is called investing activities to do investing activities you need to perfect you need to concentrate only on fixed assets got it next to cash flow from investing activities to know cash flow from investing activities just see here share capital we are having 20 now 25 5000 is issuing next debentures last time you are having 15000 this time you are having 12000 which it meant redemption you have repaid that okay issue of share capital enta 5000 redemption how much you have paid 3000 we are paying redemption no means repayment repayment is nothing but we need to do minus okay from 5000 if you minus 3000 means 2000 you will get okay net cash flow from financing activities is 2000 okay so 3000 plus 1000 plus 2000 more total 6000 that is called net increase in cash and cash equivalent after this what you need to do opening cash in asset side you will have cash no opening how much 2000 for 6000 if you add 2000 means how much you will get 8000 that 8000 and this 8000 should be get tallied then only your answer is correct otherwise you have done mistake in cash net profit net analysis net increase if you add in cash and cash equivalent opening you need to get the answer of closing cash then only you have done a correct answer if not you have done a mistake on that okay students so question number 14 is very much important so just notes you check out this question after this we can wind up the video so here what they are saying share capital loan from ram loan from bank rate as so all that they have given in the adjustments during the year machine costing 10000 depreciation is 3000 so total machine costing is 10000 in that 3000 is depreciation from 10000 if you minus 3000 means 7000 you need to sell that machine for 7000 but how much it was sold 5000 you are getting profit or loss you are getting loss indirectly we are connecting so the time what you need to do so just check out the answer cash flow from operating activities how we can say net profit net profit they have given 45000 that 45000 we are writing here in this in the according to the pro forma here we need to add the any type of depreciation amount or loss we are getting how much loss we are getting 
2000 7000 you need to sell that machine you are selling it for 5000 only so 2000 will be a loss amount only no that 2000 you are adding how we got 18000 means here you see the working notes here opening depreciation is 25000 closing is 40000 in the middle of the year 3000 depreciation you have accumulated no that type of things we need to add it in the closing side only 40 plus 3000 43000 from 43000 if you minus 25000 is what is the amount 18000 that is the depreciation amount you need to add it here got it next current assets increase in here current assets decrease in here if increase means add or minus the same thing you need to do then you will get net cash from operating activities <coughs> net cash from operating activities you will get next what we need to do cash flow from investing activities to do investing activities we need to concentrate only on fixed assets so purchase of land means last year you are having 40,000. So this uh, last year you are having 50,000. This year you are having 40,000 which it meant 10,000 you have purchased. So purchases means minus. Okay. Same like that only purchase of buildings. Last year you are having 50,000. This year you are having 60,000 means 10 uh, sorry 35,000. This year you are having 60,000 means 25,000 purchases. Sale of machinery. Sale of machinery how much? 5,000. Got it? Then you need to add it, okay? From 35,000 minus 5,000, from minus 30,000 plus 5,000, minus 30,000, okay? Minus you are getting here. Next to financial analysis, that is financial statement, you need to loan around the liability side, okay? There are issue of shares and capitals, like that you need to do, okay? After doing this, you will get financial activities. Cash and cash equivalent, opening cash you need to do, closing cash you need to do, this is the working notes. Simple trick what I can tell is if in case in the question after doing all this stuff if the question is not getting tallied that last answer if it is not tallying the with the cash closing then what you need to do in that cases whatever the closing cash you are having just write that cash in the last time okay last sentence okay if in case if in case time is not there if in case you have done the question correct only but it is not tallying means then do that thing okay but uh, this is the main op main thing you can get it from unit number five okay students so this is all about the video if you like this video then do like share comment and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups okay if you are having any doubts you can comment down in the comment section so basically this video is a quick revision in depth i didn't say anything so by this knowledge you can absolutely attempt the question if you attempt the question and if you draw the pro forma correct means you can easily score 8 or 9 marks out of 12 marks for calculation mistake only hardly 3 or 4 marks only they will deduct so that's why i am saying you to learn the pro forma is very much important ma okay so once again all the very best and uh, our channel is near to 50k subscribers just just check out our, our channel and if you think this channel is worth it then do a hit button in our channel so hope we will complete 50k subscribers by completion of your examination that is june 22nd so if you're having any further doubts you can comment down in the comment section See you all in next video. Bye-bye students.